it's about being true to who we are personally, embracing sort of what's around us, as opposed to going for what might initially seem like a cheap, easy option. We've chosen to do things in what might look like a hard way, but it turns out easier in the end. My name's Paul. We run a company called Stim Craftsmanship. Along with my wife Sharon, we make products out of retired wine barrels and recycled native timber. We take items that are worn out and at the end of their useful life, and we make something new out of them for people to enjoy. Last financial year, we went through about 150 wine barrels. From those, we'll make small products, like a wall-mounted bottle opener, which this is a blank for, or we'll make larger products, like leaners and the stools here that go with them, as well as barrel head platers, pretty much anything you can make out of a wine barrel, we'll make it. We use as much of the barrel as we possibly can. There might be some scraps left over. They are given to locals as carbon neutral biofuel, goes in their fire. Typically, we'll use 95 to 98% of a barrel. Even our sawdust gets repurposed locally and uh, either goes into local farmer's compost or for his pigs or, or whichever. It's about not throwing anything away. Our main customer is out of the region and typically uh, might be a stay at home mum, kids might have moved out, they're looking for something special for their space. I'm not sure what makes us different but I think they might just enjoy the attention to detail that we put into what we make. Being New Zealand made, using New Zealand made products and what we do, we can talk to our suppliers, our clients can pick up the phone and talk to us. They can meet us, we can go through a design process with our clients. Even though the world shut down due to COVID, New Zealand's one big family, and so we were able to leverage off that. People were happy to buy something online from a company in New Zealand, especially when they could have a discussion with us. So we were able to keep working within the limitations we had at the time. We worked with our suppliers, what limitations they had. I was thinking about this the other day. I have never got up and gone, I don't want to go to work today. I love my job, I love what we do, I love the beautiful things that we create.